Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we have All Might from My Hero Academia. It's the one where he's kind of losing power and he's got that big, freaky big arm and the rest of him is like, small. So, landscape page. Use a pencil. Hit pause if I go too fast. We're going to start over here on the right hand side. So the big arm is like, on this, on the left, and his head is on the right. So we're going to start with his eyes, and we're going to start with those, because he's got those weird black eyes. So we're just going to start with those. So they kind of look like strange sort of sunglasses, maybe. So we're going to just curve a line. So we're going to go from here. Kind of bumps in the middle where his nose is, and then it comes up like so. Okay. So you'll see we're kind of, we're a bit tilted because his head is a little bit tilted, so, like so. So then, we have a line coming down here. This is like a piece of hair, and there's a line coming down here. So that's like a piece of hair as well. And then the bottom of those eyes curve around, up like so, on one side, over the bridge of his nose, kind of like glasses. And then, this comes around, and up into there. And then we have two circles inside. So for his iris, do the first circle, like so. And then a pupil in the center. And then we go over here, do the same thing. So circle for iris and pupil in the center. And then of course, all in here is dark black. Okay, so now coming down from, his face is like a triangle, right? It's real pointy. So it comes down like all the way down to here, right? Where my finger is. And this is like the center line of his face. So it's kind of diagonal down here because his head is kind of tilted this way a little bit. So we're gonna run a line from here all the way down there and then we're going to do the same thing up this side up like so all the way up to there okay so it kind of looks like a creepy mask or something <laughs> so then Coming down the middle of his face, we have a line for his nose. So it's just like, it's just like a straight line at first. And then it kind of bumps out slightly just here. And then kind of has a little bit of a point on it and goes down to here, like that. And then his teeth and his mouth, they go like right across his face. So it's a real unusual sort of face when he's in this form. Like so, and then this comes across his face as well, like that, and then we have teeth. Just across like so. So he has like sunken sort of cheekbones as well, so we've got like a line coming in that way, and then it comes down like so. And then we'll have something similar on the other side. So it like comes across and sort of down like that. So then the rest of those hair spikes, so we're gonna bring it up like so. It's about there. And then the other side will do the same sort of thing. So it comes up like this. And then it kind of spikes in here, this one spikes in as well. And he's got a hairline just coming across his head, just here. So it's kind of a spiky one. So say like, so the center of it will be here. So it's got like a, a V, sort of right in the center, on the center line, going that way, up here. And then we'll go down, spike it across. like so and something similar and don't worry you could do this any old way it doesn't have to be 
super straight or anything like that. It's hair, so hair grows and moves and stuff. So don't worry, it's not exactly like mine. So then he has some like frown lines just here. And he's got scratch marks all over his face. Like he's been in a battle. So he's got some like stress lines coming around his eye just here. And then like scratch marks everywhere. So I probably won't do as many that's in as in the picture. I'll just do enough so you can get kind of get the idea. Just like this, all over just to represent kind of dirt and bruises and scratches. And there might be like a bead of sweat or two as well. Like a drop like that, you know, just every now and then on his forehead, just to show that, you know, he's like, he's sweating, basically. <laughs> and then loads coming down this way as well. Right, so then, so these pieces of fringe that come down the side of his head, right, so we've got some hairlines in here first that and then his fringe so coming out from like the center we go up to about there and then it comes straight across like that same on this side up and then it goes sort of straight across like that and then these two pieces of long hair come down the side of his head right so comes down like so and then at about eye level it's going to bump out this way and then come down and then there's all spikes along the bottom hair spikes just down here like so and then we bring it back up and in to here and you can add some texture lines on it like this just some hair texture Sort of lines like so. You don't have to add too much, just enough to give it a feel of hair. Let me do this over here. So going down that way, and then bring it out down like so. Spike it to there, and then loads of hair spikes along the bottom, like so as well. Here, and then we'll bring it back up and then around up into here and then you can just add some texture lines on there as well so like this sort of thing like so right so in the gap between his jaw and his hair we can see his ear lobes so just like one there and the other one along somewhere in here like so might be an ear line or two but you can't really see much just in there so the rest of his hair so we're going to bring it up and around the other side we can actually see the top of his ear somewhere here didn't notice that so just like here, kind of pointy. Can you see it on the other side? No. No. So, rest of his hair. So we'll go out, spike it out like this, and it's gonna go around. I won't be able to fit it all in, but we we'll just go as far as we can. So here, spike in like this, down, up, back in. Back to there, spike them like so, to there, Boop. like this, and back down, back up, and then back 
second. And then the big one go off my page up there. So then it'll come back in somewhere over here. So we'll just we'll do this and bring it up this side as well. So like about here, say. Just that like because it's it's tilted, so it should be a little bit higher up. Just that way. And then some coming down like so. And up to there. Up. Curve down. And then kind of a bigger one going up there. Bring it back in. Back in. Back in. Spike up. Spike down. And then a big one going up and off my page there. So we have some hairlines and texture lines kind of going up this way towards this, those pieces of hair up there. Going off there, another one going that way. So maybe going there, right here. And over here as well. Okay, so next, shoulder, right. So big shoulder, small shoulder. We'll probably do, we'll, we'll do his shoulder and his torso on, his small torso on this side, and then we'll deal with that muscly arm. So coming down from this hair, we have his small shoulder. So it comes down like so, just right across from his teeth. And then we'll bring it down. And then, yeah, like that. And then it kind of comes out like so. So the bottom of this shirt of his is all like ripped, right? So it's like, and not in a good way. Like it's torn. So I'll come across there like that. And the other side of it is like, see here. Okay. And then, so coming across here, it's all scratched and torn. Like so, up and around and down the other side. So just off the bottom of my page there. And then we can see some of his arm in there. And it might have some scratch lines and stuff on it inside here. So, so then that means there should be like some four lines just coming down that way. And yeah, maybe make this one a bit longer. Some lines just here. Hatching kind of lines. This go up, touch his hair. So, and that big arm is coming out from his hair, okay? So say right, like right from here, say the big arm kind of bumps this way, right? At first, okay? But his body will finish that, will come it down, come down this way with it. So kind of goes this way first, diagonal towards this other arm. And then keep going kind of like that. Two slight curves on it, so it goes in there. And then we have a bump out for his thin waist, so real thin waist. And this is like his clothing and it's all sort of ripped and stuff. So, so this will go that way and then down. So that's his torso area, okay? So, right, we'll go back up to his neck and sort of sketch that in. So we have the collar of his uniform coming around like so. Okay. And we have a V just under his chin. And this comes up, bends up, around up under here. Um, so we can see a shadow just in here, under his jaw. Okay. 
and then there's like a collarbone line just going that way and like some scratcher hatching lines just there as well and then something similar here going that way and some hatching or dirt or battle marks just there and the other side was collarbone in that side with some hatching in here right so he's got the red and white lines all coming down over his costume right so let's see all right so we'll just we'll add the full lines first so these are like following the direction that his clothes are being pulled that's what you want to think of when you're drawing forward lines you gotta think of like the tension on the fabric you know uh, like you know this one would be going up to his armpit like so like there you know and then the ones that are going into his armpit here so they'll go like say here you know going around the shoulder into the armpit Another one there. Like so. Maybe one more. Yep. Like that. Okay, now, so red line coming around his collar. Like that. Coming down this side as well. And this comes into like a white diamond, like kind of in the middle of his chest. So it kind of comes around like this. Into here. And now it goes off towards his shoulder, but it has to bump over each fold, right? So when you're doing fabric, you gotta think of that as well. So it's gotta like bump here, and then it'll bump over the next one. Bump over the next one. Bump to there. And it goes like underneath his hair, so like up off this way. Over here. Okay. So similar on this side then. Except thankfully not as many sort of fabric bumps. It just goes off that way. And it has red and white stripes that come in all down here, right? So we gotta just like do that again. Into there. And now we can see the diamond in here. So what I mean by diamond is that the bottom is like a triangle that goes down to there, you know? So this is all like white and these are red and this is blue. So if you know his uniform, you'll know what I'm talking about anyway. So there, then up like so, up to there, and bumping. So that's a red stripe and there's a white, this is white, so, and then another red stripe around it, right? So red, white, red, hope that makes sense. Like this, and you could of course leave this out if you wanted. And then the other side, we'll go up. I'll just put it in for whoever wants. So there's a red stripe that goes up his shoulder this way as well. It's kind of like the American flag or something. That's what it's going for, I think. is another red line down here and that comes back into there and goes off that way red you know I think a line there because that's blue so red in here if I'm looking at it correctly anyway and then it kind of comes down his belly it's going this way somewhere here it comes out there and then it goes back into his arm so like this way so I know this is kind of complicated now so 
Hit that pause button whenever I move my hand. Just comes up there. Okay, so that's all red. There's a red strip here. Blue, red, white, red, blue. Yeah, okay. I think that's it. Okay, so big arm. Crazy muscular big arm. So it's like bottom of it is here, top of it is like right up here. So it's like real big. So like curves. Right up, yeah. Like that. So a hulking shoulder, okay? So it kind of goes, so the top part of it is kind of like a ball, okay? So it like comes out from here. And it kind of curves around like so. Okay, first. And this has red and white stripes on it as well. So, like that. And a white stripe there. And then a red stripe. Red, white, red. And we have like a muscle line here. In like so, and another one up here somewhere. So coming out like there, maybe with some hatching and stuff on it. And like some dirt and scratches and things on it as well. Like so. So then tricep. So bumping big tricep. Like that. Crazy big. Bicep then. So basically it started here already. So it comes in like to there maybe. So tricep, bicep. So this meets like his forearm, so it like comes across here. Forearm line there, and this comes up in to meet that there. And then we have like a muscle line, like a bicep area, just like here. So it like curves down like so. And then there's like hatching all in here. You don't have to do the hatching, I'm just including it because. Some people might want to do it. I don't know. It kind of looks cool. And then some like hatching on his bicep here. Some here. Just like that. So his forearm is ripping out of his costume. So we've got to do some tears. So, so like here. And then one down on this side as well. So like ripping, squiggly sort of line. Nothing, you don't have to be careful. You just do a squiggly line. You put spikes on it, like that. And then the, his elbow then should be here, right? So it like sticks out like this pointy sort of there and then the rest of his arm will curve this way. So we're right down here now. We're along where his like the bottom of his chest would be. That's how that's where the fist is gonna be. Okay. The fist, the width of the fist, right? So I'm here, and then his little finger is like his pinky is like here. So that's how wide, okay? You're gonna do it. So we're gonna do the bumps for the knuckles along the bottom and then the top and then the thumb and then we'll join it up to the bicep. So bump around for each knuckle. One, two, three, four. Okay. And then we'll bump across for the top. So we'll bring it up, bump, 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 
and the final boom and this one will come down because we can see like this finger curling in the side right so this one comes down here so we'll go like down like this And then each of these will have a line. So for a finger. Two. Maybe like a skinny line there. And some like scratch marks or knuckle lines. Just here. One there, one there. Like so. And then like a fold line there. Fold line for skin there and that means his thumb wraps around these fingers then here right so comes up in so we've a couple of bends a couple of joints on the knuckle right so it goes up down and then around for the top and then we just add a thumbnail there and yeah, so there might be like a full line or something just here somewhere, knuckle line. And then the rest of his forearm. So we had to join this, so we're foreshortened, so we can just see a little bit of his forearm coming up from his thumb, just like here. And then this bumps around like this, so like kind of round, curvy sort of line just there. For like his forearm muscle, and there could be some like hatching on it. So hatching in here, with a line just going in there. Another forearm line just coming down into his thumb. And some scratches or hatching, like so. And I do believe that is how you draw All Might in whatever form this is called. <laughs> With the big arm. It's the form of the big arm. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.